Coming off a long holiday weekend, markets will be in search of new guidance. Michelle Rook has more in Markets Now. Welcome to Markets Now. Garrett Toy with Ag Trader Talk is back with us. And we've had a nice spring rally in the grains. Garrett, let's talk about the corn market. When do we normally or seasonally put our highs in? Uh, usually it's around the third week of June. And you know, now it's coming off the of Memorial Day weekend. We're the official start of summer. So we'll be looking for those seasonal highs here. Um, obviously, the spring has been a little bit difficult between the planting delays. Uh, we have now caught up. And now it's turning a little bit wet again. Um, it may get a little interesting here. We find out a couple of weeks in the, into the uh, final spring uh, crop insurance planting dates uh, if wet weather continues for areas, but uh, on that final 30% of the uh, U.S. corn planting. But uh, for the most part, you know, I think you look at you know seasonal highs here the next three four weeks. Uh, we've had a money market short that's essentially the, the, the funds are neutral here um, that can go either way. And, and as we get into these seasonal tendencies. Um, you know, which direction are the funds going to want to go? Um, they just covered their short. Uh, it seems unlikely given the S and D's that they want to get long in here by any means. Um, you know, whether they want to reestablish those shorts here, uh, once they have more information on how this growing season progresses, uh, will be, uh, the, the key, key, uh, attributing feature. That in the June acreage report, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I think the next two weeks are going to be fairly important as far as you know, obviously, not only are they surveying the June acreage report, but how that's going to be determined here. Uh, you know, Iowa's been got a lot of rain this week. Um, you know, we still had 30% of the U.S. corn crop, even though we are caught up with the five-year average. Uh, we still have 30% of the U.S. corn crop that still needs to be planted. Um, you know, that fringe acres, you know, a million acres here or there could uh, make some differences on the S and Ds. What about the seasonals for soybeans? Is there more downside risk there as well, or not? If you look at the on-farm prices, as far as the USDA's view. Uh, there seems to be a lot more downside risk in soybeans than there is in corn. Um, obviously, though, I think, um, you know, the market is trying to digest this old crop situation uh, with uh, China buying the old crop U.S. beans here and the further South American uh, prices. Whether this is a realization that, uh, you know, the crop size is just not as big as what we thought it was, uh, what we've been talking about the last two, three months. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Garrett Trey, Ag Trader. Talk a lot more Ag Day coming up. Watch Markets Now with Michelle Work on the Farm Journal YouTube channel, keeping you updated throughout the day on the markets at the open midday and close. Find out what moved the markets today and what to expect the market to do next. To contact Garrett, call him at 888-745-2020 or find him at agtradertalk.com.